What is up guys, Son of Beast here, and today is the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference Championship game, as the Final Four remains in the Eastern and Western part of the final two teams remaining, and we noticed that this game is almost on its way to make it to the NBA Finals of the online gaming. I'm telling you, this is not the real game, this is the online gaming on virtual gaming of the part of the playoffs. For this first matchup, it will be the Sixers versus the Bucks. As the Sixers made, made the second win, they have won the second uh, second round for the first time ever since 2019. But in that case, there might there might be something more that they want to be facing up against. The Greek Freak. Noticing what the, di the difference between Sixers and the Bucks, they have been playing the uh, they have been playing the uh, first season in season one back in 2017. When the Bucks beat against the Sixers, they're definitely working really well because the uh, Sixers don't have enough to, uh, to make it to that time. They're doing it really hard, hard at that point, but it's not even comparing what their stats are up to. It's nothing happening, but we don't know what, we'll, what we're going to do. It's really happening a lot, a bunch of each games. So this time, I will uh, do... The first game, I will start do, doing the city versions. Or actually, I might do some statements because that's the one that I had never got a chance to do for a long time. So without further ado, let's get this first game started. Remember, one team will head to the finals from the Eastern Conference and the Western Conference. So, who will make it all? There's a lot more to get there. And yes, episode 37, 7 is on the books. Dig the, dig the Feed 2K and the Top Plays of Summer is on now. So if you like to do it, you can do that right from the hand. 4 and 6, wow, I have created, uh, created just a lot, lot of the times I just noticed. But anyways, if you like to vote for it, make the Top Plays of the Summer before Summer hits. Anyways, let's get this Eastern Conference started. As I've seen the focus right now, if you have seen the last dance, make sure you do so by going flipping on in the band here on uh, on ESPN about Michael Jordan, Dennis, Dennis uh, Rodney, and uh, and a bunch of them. So a lot more to get there. But anyways. This is definitely going to be amazing to see the first game ever. And yes, this is a statement I have never been using that before. But let's find out what DA has to say. Sixers coach Brett Brown helped build this team from ground zero. There were some lean years in Philly, but Brown helped set the values and the culture for this team. Brown said, can you teach? Can you cultivate relationships? And do you bring energy? Those three qualities are what I've hoped to create throughout my tenure here. Kevin, mission accomplished. Nice to the story for Brett Brown, but now here's a look at the uh, the part of Brook Lopez. Since the last game, I never got a chance to, uh, to take a look at it. Just only 20.6 for 20.5 was definitely close in 2017-18, but 12.5 wasn't enough in 2019-20. Here are the starting lineups as Giannis takes on against Al Horford, and it's Joel Embiid against Brook Lopez in the center. Then we have Mr. Tobias Harris and Chris Middleton in the key matchup, and then Ben Simmons, and it's Ben Simmons against Lutzo, and finally we have is Richardson against, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know what it is? Correct, Wesley Matthews is right. Well, I saw it from the bench. From the shooting guard matchup. Here we go, Liz. Let's get started with the first, for the first game of the Eastern Conference. The Bucks wins the, wins the tip off. We're starting right now. Not only to any given quarter, but any given game. Since Giannis was just a Greek freak, he knows how we could do it anyway and try to get a better, better idea since he wants to make that shot in time. 14 still a good number. But it turned His out first shot for for uh, for Lanzo, no, for Bill, for Brook Lopez no good. Now Simmons. Simmons. I served out for him only the first two years of the season after Bradley Center was being removed. Was uh, was the last season for was the final game for for the Bucks. 
Good for the Bias Harris makes a spin around move and hit that first bucket. I've seen Josh Richardson distribute the ball. I'm talking about Tobias Harris. You guys should know about Tobias Harris, what his last season of the game is. Wide open. Wide open look and no luck for Middleton to get there. The other way with it. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. And B, B this is Austin Richardson. Out pass to Iowa Horford. A nice ball movement here by the seven Almost seven took seven. it away by Brooke Lopez. Shot and B, run around, and then comes in. Assist by Horford. Really assist is by Horford, in definitely looking big really big well. In the NBA, Horford in the is the NBA, it's, it's definitely run. not enough As to make that shot. So I'm not stepping into the pro yet. Now here's Bobby sometimes the Bucks are the getting a hard time here, are having a hard time. They sometimes get really tired, though. Once all of a sudden, and here's Lopez. And and what a greatest player that we have just seen. It was Sidney from from the Bucks. He notices how he played the game really well. And his and his latest game is uh is definitely on the move, but a big part of the game. But when he notices how he, uh, how well he teaches. Sydney does everything that he plays with the Bulls, the Pistons, and other players as well. Tobias Harris, another shot made. That's four points for Harris. Bit of a picture perfect start. That was after the shot by Middleton. All three looks. Antetokounmpo against Horford. Middleton outside, back to Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak. Horford against Horford around around Brook Lopez. Brooke Lopez sends the three in, the first bucket of three for Brooke Lopez. And that will be Antetokounmpo's first assist. Ben Simmons outside, bounce pass instead of Richardson. Richardson kicks to Simmons. Simmons taking no look here. Milwaukee with a rebound. Put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with Boston. Middleton. Middleton going to get again. And it's it's rebounded by Embiid. He's so good at getting to the Embiid with just two rebounds. I need some tempos here. Lots of offense here. I want something. Now here's Embiid. Embiid passing up to Simmons. He is averaging over 23 points a game. And Simmons. Going back to Harris. Shoots over Matthews. Harris missing. Harris missing. Oh, no rebound for a bead for a third time. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. The shot. Bloods over three. Wide open look, no good. Oh, the save by Anthony Krupa was in. As a complimentary player. Not scoring as much, but his decision making and shot selection have vastly improved. Pass to Horford. Following the basket by Giannis. Back to Simmons. Simmons going back outside. Joel with the screen. He saved it again. The drive. And he converts, and the, he converts the layup. That's his first bucket for, for Ben Simmons. He's an elite finisher. And Milwaukee leading by one. For the Milwaukee Bucks. Bledsoe against Simmons. Bledsoe coming in. It's blocked away by Embiid. His first block away. Harris passes to Horford. A nice drive by Horford as Harris will pick up an assist. Absorb the contact and finding a way to get it done there. Brent Berry. Brian Barry, Greg Anthony, and Kevin Howard are the commentators of the uh, of the 2K Sports. No, he is gone. One of uh, it is three minutes to go. Here is Bledsoe outside. Next time we'll do some flashback after the NBA Finals is over. And then I will start the flashback and see what we have. Oh, foul is on Horford. Miss first. But Ashton Cooper will go to the line to shoot two. Brent, we were wondering what Giannis could do if he bulked up. Well, we don't. Running a lot too much on a one time. But this second time was just way off. As Al Horford will take his first personal foul. But Joel Embiid was on his cover. He's only at 60% of his potential. Go to the line to shoot two. What's coming down the line if he realizes the other 40? He's something else. First free throw is good. 
Good shot for Archie Kupo. Three, three uh, players are subbing in as Simmons, Richardson, well, Harris, and, and Horford are subbed out. Scott, Corkmaz, Feibel, and Burks are checked in. All five players are checked out, but Archie Kupo switches to the center. Ilya Sopa, Hill. That's a scary thought, isn't it, Kevin? Four or five years of growth. Then it's Steven Chento. And finally, it will. Finally, it's Connor. We may be seeing an all time great. Developed throughout his career. MB looking around. Covered by Alex Tacumbo. Pass to the Fievel. Fievel will take his first look. First drive goes in by Fievel, and that will be the first bucket for tonight. Right over Ely so far. Almost went down. Yeah, he went down. He, he went on the floor. Went almost went a foul. It almost put a foul on uh, on Connaughton. Or, I mean, Ely so far. Here's a drive. Alcicupo sends a number two. That's five points for Alcicupo after he missed the second free throw. Energy just boundless in this. He needs to save some energy to start another. Burks on the wing. Two minutes left here in the first period. Well, to. 12 to 10 to score. Here's Corkmans taking a look Scott at Scott over over his sofa. First jump for Scott is good. Easy little jumper. Easy right jumper right here. Assist by Corkmans. The Bucks have gone four of ten. Bucks trailing by four. Hill against Burks, and, stolen and it's stolen by Mike Scott. Scott misses off to Burks. Left to play in the first. Just a minute and a half to go here in the first period. The oh, shoots over Connaughton. Great D for Connaughton. That's Ansh Cooper will grab another rebound. Three for DiVincenzo. And Joel and Joel B will grab up with a miss. Sixers leading by four. Sixers still lead by four. Burks going in. Oh, rejection by the Greek freak. That's the first block here after Joel B would make another block. Connaughton missed one, but he'll try another one. Another look. Ansh Cooper. Shots off the mark. No assist by Connaughton. It was off loose. Cloud Corporal will check in in the second period. Or foul. It's never called. Bounce pass to Mike Scott. Passes to Cork Boss. Six on the shot clock. Five balls going for three. Good on the outside. Assist by Cork Boss. Loving the free run in the last 2.52 per minute. To jump out to this that was for the Sixers. Looking for a, way to score here. a lot of scoring keys are just way targeting a lot more. On Takumbo with a drive. 20 seconds left. The Sixers have gone 8 of 12 on field goal. Burks checking out with his first shot already. Not yet, but uh, he's trying to. Five only has six points. Five seconds to go. The pass to Scott. She's alone. The way deep three, no good. That's the end of the first quarter. 17 to 12 is your score. The Bucks are trailing by five, but the Sixers are leading by five. We'll be right back with the second quarter. We're ready to start the second period. Right now, the Bucks are trailing by five. Yeah, and the Sixers are leading by five. So Kyle Corper is checked in for Connaughton, and Robin Lopez is checked in for Giannis. Robinson the third is checked in for uh, for Corkmaz, and it's Milton checked in for Feibel. And B going over Robin Lopez, and the shots go in. What amazing shooting percentage for here for Joel and B to be starting off the first game. And so in the game for the 76. He came back here since L and B was blocking out a lot of points here another time in a row. Marvin Williams, and then it's Marvin Williams checked in for Ilya Sofa. 
It's not good, it's not good in here. A beach grabbing another another rebound six times. Passes to Burks. This core has more potential in it. It wasn't just Burks. Bell going up to Middleton. Bounce pass to Burks. Shoots over Hill. It's rebounded by MB. Pass to Scott. Great shot here. This is by MB. Well, Kevin, last season the G League tested out an expansion of the clear path rule. Now that expansion is making its way to the NBA. It should discourage those intentional fouls that slow up teams on the fast break. Fans wanted it, and analysts clamored for it. And that will allow the amazing athletes in this league more opportunities to show what they can do on the fast break. You're right, David. A welcome change. Thanks for the uh, G League here. They're making some expansion plan, plans for a clear pathway. In player development. But as for being said, this game was definitely not just the only clear path that wants to make it secret. But after the call, after the timeout call by the Sixers, it was Marvin Williams going up with the floater. And definitely enough, they're, 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 they're out, they got a lot more to do to keep it going. So let's, let me just go ahead and uh, switch something in. I would like to do, uh, yeah, I would like to do some flowing. And then, uh, and then I want to do some uh, patient offense. And I want to make sure. Actually, let's just go with the uh, go with the push the pace a little bit more through. So just a little bit tiny, uh, tiny, uh, tiny push here to make it through. Yeah, this will be a better look here. And then uh, let's go with some uh, pick and rolls this time. I'm just going to do some auto, and that should be good. Bucks will be getting some changes here. Same thing with the Philadelphia Sixers. Harris is checked in for Scott. And then it's Ben Simmons checked in for Burks. Now Middleton will be checking in. Middleton's checked in for uh, for DiVincenzo. And ball's loose, taken away by... Uh, Here's Middleton with a fast break. Right over Middleton and that right over Middleton. First bucket tonight here for Middleton. Starting out the second period. Kyle Corper has switched to uh I don't know if it, I don't know if it's true, but that's uh but he's still in a small four position. Oh Kyle Corper switched to the uh, shooting guard position. Okay. Oh, the foul was going on. Marvin Williams is first. Well, we knew that Tobias Harris will go to the line to shoot two since last game. He was played with the L.A. Clippers that time with uh, Marcin Gortat, Lou Williams, and Shea Gil Gordix Alexander with uh, Danilio Gallinari. But unfortunately, uh, Gallinari and... Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, Shea. Shea and Gordix Alexander are not here with the Clippers since they moved as the new teams are making the franchise. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. That's good from Harris. Yes, they want something better well, from the other team career. because all the fans are missing uh, well, he's missing the greatest player, player of all time in the history, though. Paul George. Many, many we many know everything about him. And uh, once I did some researching about Paul George, he knows about how well he can do. And also, he put up a 360 windmill with a dunk. I really like how he does the everything that he can do it from here. That was back in 2017 season. Yeah, I mean, he really is just... By the first season. Since they played the first game against the Denver Nuggets. And beat against Robin Lopez with a shot. Good. Over and over and beat his first bucket. 430 left. Milton. Passes up to Ben Simmons. Screen on that beat. Outside Simmons. 420 left. Oh, rolling all over. Milton will take the first. Milton will take the first bucket. Beautiful timing, execution, great move to the rack. I like it. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Bucks still trying to find its way. They're trailing by seven. 
Shot for Bledsoe. It's good. They're pulling it up by five. Men, uh, sixes are bench are outscoring the Bucks by seven by uh by the second period. But now they're trailing by five. Man, trying to grab it. Oh, close one to call here. Middleton, Middleton will take the screen. Robinson a drive. Another point down. First shot of the game for Glenn Robinson, the third. Big, adapting um, to the I'm situation. sure what uh, what he's looking for, was good. but the first shot was for uh, Bletsa was coming in for the drive, and thanks to all of his part of a built-in, that was just recently coming back in a lot more times than ever. And then on the other hand, it will be uh, Middleton reaching out with uh, with the screen as Glenn Robinson the third outside. Milton with the screen, he comes in, checking out when his first drive is coming in. And then once he gets it, there he is. The layup is pulling up on in. Now here's Bledsoe. Only two fir first two points, uh, four points. Wow, well, we're going on Tobias Harris is first. Let's uh, we'll go to the line to shoot two. Just to finish here, how else, how else he could do. He was going to block that shot, but that didn't work. That was a killer off the most recent, recent uh, shots that was never been played. Two shots will be gone, let's go. Shot went missing. He's just such a, a bulldog out there in terms of his mentality. Eric Bledsoe can get assertive, and when he does that, it raises the level of play for the entire team. Here's what Milwaukee. New stretches right are now. coming in for Bledsoe is for uh, for the Bucks and the Phillies. Bledsoe comes in for Marvin Williams, and Wesley Matthews subbed in for Kyle Korver. Yep, uh, you got a new change and here. They just was checked out. I mean, Ilya Sof was checked in for Warren right Williams. And then it's Matthews checked in for Kyle Corker. And Brooke Lopez is checked in for Robin Lopez. Kirk Boss over Milton. A shot made, and it's another two pointer for Kirk Boss. First bucket of the night. Plus, so against Simmons. I say so far, rolling it over to Matthews. Three minutes left 29 to 21. Built in for three. Great shot here, assist by Matthews. That's the first three pointer for Middleton. A lot of regularity. Just a proven of killers out there. Korgbaz rolling it over to Ben Simmons. And here is Simmons. He's some changes here. On the team. He's averaging close to 17 points. Now he passed to Korkmaz. One on the clock. Oh, the shot's good. He counts it with another two-pointer. He's doing a lot. He's doing it so well, trying to keep it from, from away from the distance. But he's trying his, trying his best to get it back in. Bledsoe covered up by Simmons in the paint. Lopez will get one to look. First shot, no good. And Simmons has got the ball here. For Simmons has got the ball. Two Simmons minutes left. Great the drive Simmons here for Simmons. With that game. Sensational speed by Simmons. Trucking it down the court and beating everyone. Bucks trail by nine. Bucks trail by nine. This is, the, this is their first game in 1968. The play here in the second quarter. But this is not their 50th anniversary. Since I'm, since I'm getting a little bit confused because they're over 50th anniversary, checking out what everybody else is going to. If, it, if they will take uh, take a look for the 60th anniversary, 70th, 70th anniversary, we don't know. Richardson going up with a shot. And he can't, extend he can't the explain the what he's what his shot is up to. From the floor here in this second quarter, over 118 left. Middleton against Richardson. Middleton, Middleton with the shot. Good. Trails it from in. Seven That's seven points for a middle team. Yeah, because they dug a big hole. And a lot of games are falling out the win. Just oh, definitely man. working out. Under one minute left. It's Richardson on the wing. Richardson. Covered by Matthews. 
52 seconds left now here on the second. The pass Warford goal. rolling it over to Simmons. Simmons. Simmons right from the elbow. That's no good. That's no good for the uh, elbow as Brooke Lopez will get some rebound. Bledsoe outside. Bledsoe outside, called by Simmons. Screen up, Brooke Lopez. Drive in for Bledsoe, that's good. Another shot is in, and he's got four points. see a player who doesn't let a slow start get to him. Just 20 seconds to go. Bledsoe passes to Richardson. 15 seconds left. It's Richardson on the wing. He's still Rolling it over to Simmons. Suits over Butso. That was shot here, no good. Three seconds. Here's the buzz beater. Butso with a shot, no good. And we reach the end of the first half. 33 to 28 is your score. Great action here between MD and Natsukupo. But the Sixers are definitely on top. They're trying to find out if they can win the first series. Now let's send that over to David Aldridge. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Chris, how did the team's offensive approach improve in that first half? Uh, we didn't have a, any type of tempo going. We were real stagnant, standing around a lot. Once he got moving, pushed the ball more, we got what we wanted. Hey, Chris, thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you. Nine points, four out of eight for fragments, and ten minutes on the court for Milton. We'll be back after the halftime show. And now, the 2 k we're all set to go here in the second half and after the first half of, with the tremendous play. It was MB that was blocking out with two pointers. And with the saving of the second quarter was Chris Middleton. As you as I already just said, it was nine points, four to twenty-eight fragments. Only only uh Four shots missed, and then ten minutes on the court. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments. We're going to find out who will be making to the finals in the NBA. Let's start off with Simmons passing it off to Richardson. the forward tandem. Richardson passing it off. It's rebound. We take it away by Antetokounmpo. The fast break here. Great D. Antetokounmpo saves it again. They're down now to three. Great Simmons going back the other way. Passes to MB. Drives it in. Off this balance. And a Brooke Lopez with the with the deflecting shot. Ties it up. Middleton with the with Bledsoe with the shot. I'm sorry. And now they're now they're even. But they got a lot of energy to put it up here. That's what they got to do. They were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked. Horford rolling over to MB. And here's MB. Simmons taking the three. They catch the way by six. And then it's Simmons with another free pointer. First free pointer of the bucket. A wide array of moves. Right down to six minutes left. Here's uh, Bledsoe. Simmons has got six points of a game. 5.50 left. Lopez against Embiid. Middleton outside. Comes in. Blocked away by Embiid. Embiid going outside. Covered by Brooke Lopez. Embiid rolling it over to Simmons. Porfer with the screen. Simmons again. Right from the free throw line. No good from No Simmons. shot from here, and it's off the you mark. Talk about Embiid's personality, whether it's on the court or Oh, dunk game by the Greek freak. Just by Middleton. Those two guys are working out really good. Middleton and Anshikumbo are rolling up the pace here. Hola, como estas? I just cannot. I just can't remember. Here's David Aldrich. Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive, and that edge is what drives him. Oh, what a dunk here for MB! And that was the assist by Simmons after after the, after Richardson uh, blocked the shot, and he did show up. 
Bucks are calling their first timeout in the second half. We're going to make a different suggestion look and find out what it is. And be on the roll. He's looking out for something new today and next season. He's on fire to put it up with so many dunks and a, and a block this. Here are some big group substitutions here for the box as Robin Lopez has checked in for Brooks Lopez and then Steven Chenzo checked in for for uh, for Wesley Matthews and Connington's checked in for for Middleton and then it's Hill change in for Bledsoe. Great dunk here for Anster Kupo to tie this game up. Five ball, Burks, and then um, Bennett Glenn Robinson the front, and Scott are checked in by Tobias Harris, Corford, Ben Simmons, and Richardson. Robinson the third, going up by Burks. The drive first, Bur oh, it's Hill with the steal. Loose the ball, that was a little bit loose. Connaughton taking a three. We have the loose ball foul called on DiVincenzo. No shot made for Connaughton. A big surprising here for the Bucks fans that uh, DiVincenzo made a foul. Yes, they did not like that call. That was all, that was very bad luck for the Bucks to take it from here. Burks coming out loose. Robin Lopez will go to the line. Robin Lopez takes his first personal foul. Burks will go to the line to shoot two. Brett Brown still needs some focusing players. What they need to do. They can't let them be open shooting around one at a time. They gotta find some pick and rolls here. Still tied up. Burks gonna be taking bring a tie. Counts one in. And first base two Oklahoma. free throws, and now well, be his first basket of the night in the second half. Match for tonight, this might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Robin Lopez around to Kubo. Another three pointer off the mark. That's Kubo couldn't fire it away. We've gone about three and a half. MB, Thurston off to Burks. Burks, Burks MB rolling over to Five Ball. Over Di Vincenzo. Another shot here. Now it's, that's seven points for a Five Ball. Wide open, but just wide open and up. Right over Di Vincenzo. But looking really tough here. Wow, what a nice alley oop here as Connaughton picks up his first assist. By Antetokounmpo. So 2:55 left. Bucks trailing by two. That's the five ball. Screen on Embiid. Oh, now he just said Embiid. Driving look, no good. Robin Lopez grabs another rebound. No doubt, it's been a bit of a struggle for him. Joel with only six points. Rebounded by Connaughton. Anshikupo going away. Off the left hand rim. Nine rebounds here for MB. 220 left. Mr. Burks. Burks going outside. Burks is rolling over to Scott. Rush over to Feibel. Feibel over the way. Rebounded by MB. Put back in. Nice shot here for Embiid. That will be eight points for Embiid. Just under two minutes left. Bucks are calling timeout here as Pat Connaughton will decide to give it a timeout and talk to their, to their head coach on the, uh, on the bench. A lot of injuries are pulling up one of them. Pulling up too much that time. So right now, let me make some new changes here as Embiid will uh, I'll sub out Embiid and I'll bring Al Horford in. In our league. He wants and then um, I will change Burks, and then I'm gonna bring up. Uh, actually, I'll bring up. Uh, I'll take out Robinson the third out, and then I'll bring up uh, Corkbaz in, and then uh, Scott's all good. I'm gonna make some new changes here. Let's just go with uh, three to two zone. Make it better. 
let's say with the freelance, patient on offense, watch of average, yep. And that should do it from here. Different look here for the Philly and the Bucks. Marvin Williams is check in. Anshikupo with the three. Off wide look, Anshikupo with no shot at all. Connaughton checked out as uh, Corpus checked in. And Marvin Williams is checked in for her. Robin Lopez. Burks on the wing. 135 left. Scott over Corfer. Lays up a drive, and Scott That's takes his second bucket. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer. Just assertive a play. How, uh, how else could he do? He could do really well with a shot. He'll be soft to DiVincenzo. Marvin Williams checking inside. DiVincenzo for three. Round the miss. Now here is Hill. Hill outside. One on nine left. DiVincenzo. Another missed three for the Bucks, and they could not be selling up to score again. That's going to be good. That's going to be a definitely a tough look here, but not looking really well. Six to shoot. Pass over to Milton. Takes the three. Takes a three. No shot here, and he ran out of time here as rebounded by Antetokounmpo. Dio turns up a two. This good. Sister by Antetokounmpo. Pulling it up by three. See these small little plays. 30 seconds left. Burks against Phil. With his offensive game. Pass to Middleton. And more playmaking. Shot three off the log. Well, he was open enough, but didn't work. Oh, Antetokounmpo sends another dunk, assist by DiVincenzo with an alley-oop. What a great play. Ten seconds left. Burks going over to Scott. Two seconds for Mike Scott. And that's the last shot for Mike Scott as it comes up to the end of the third quarter. 45 to 43. Must have been intense going on. But we're coming back here with the fourth quarter right after this. It's next. Let's have a chance to look at the State Farm assist of the game. One clue I'm looking at here is Cork Boss and then Mike Scott. We'll make some couple shots here. It was just a lot of killing movement at that time. And then Mike Scott, uh, I think he's doing really, really good. Try to, uh, try to keep up with uh, another moment. And with three quarters, and then, uh, he might have to do it again since he's going to have to get back in. In and out. Fourth quarter action Here we go. Fourth quarter is on its way to start. Bledsoe with a shot over Richardson. It's rebounded by Simmons. In the backcourt, Simmons and Richardson. And it's Simmons, Horford. Shots good. Assisted by Simmons. That might be a first pointer for Al Horford to pick it up. Here is Bledsoe. But that's the second bucket of the night. To the inside. Finds Matthews. What a shot here. Assisted by Bledsoe. 6.23 left. Simmons go rolling it back the other way. Simmons pass to Harris. Harris passing it to Richardson. Rolls over Matthews. And that one will pick up the number point. First basket for Richardson. is picking up with a huge drive. In a hurry. And he's, he's in a hurry, he better not. Fourth quarter just getting started, one minute in the books. Six minutes left, 45 to four, in the 49 to 45, I'm sorry. In Philadelphia, and Philadelphia and Kim picks up another rebound and a, as Milwaukee game. picks up another miss. Welcome the pass to Harris. Rolls over Simmons. Lutzo again. Shoots, so, shoots off and it counts it in. And that set them apart today, guys. Eight points for uh, for Simmons, and he's tied up, and he's even up with uh, Bledsoe with eight points. Bledsoe taking another two. Solid defense was going on, Al Horford. Simmons going back the other way. They came out of the break on a roll. 
Just on the roll here. I don't know why. Outside Simmons. The pass to Milton. Milton with the shot. Three pointer for Milton. This good. Assist by Milton. Assist by Simmons. Yeah, I love how Simmons. I love how this shot for, for Milton. Milton is shot was picking up wide away. And just putting up in with, a, with an incredible shot. They need a good offensive Bledsoe back in the other way. Bledsoe against Simmons. Shot! That was Harris with the rejection. Two on one. Good shot here for Harris. Good shot here for Josh Richardson. That will be assisted by Mil by uh, Milton or Glenn Robinson preferred. I I don't know if it is. Right towards the rim. Sweet play. Here is Matthews. That was Milton. Yep. the score by Josh Richardson to the left side. Lopez Bledsoe for three. Good. Timeout called by Philly Sixers with just 4.28 left. 56 to 48. Bledsoe coming back in to make a comeback rally. If they're going to keep it up, then they're going to see what they can do. <laughs> Milwaukee going over with another look. And Joel Embiid is checked in for Al Horford. And all five players are switched in as Al Horford switches to a point forward. After, uh, after Scott's check, I mean, uh, Milton's check, after Milton's checked out, Milton is subbed in. This is the time to turn up the heat. Make one final push and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. Richardson, no Richardson with a no look, and Middleton will go back the other way. Roll over to Matthews. Shots off the miss. And B grabs 11 rebounds, and he's looking forward to grab some grading rebounds. Maybe they can find How many does he have? Some rhythm in the next well, just to answer that question, if you can do that. Now here's MB. Following the miss by going over to Richardson. And B going back the other way. Shoots over Brooke Lopez, and Brooke Lopez will draw his first personal foul. 3.39 left, and B will take his first trip to the free throw line. Mike Budenholz was just not, not focusing. He, he's still watching, but he's not talking to his teammate. First shot for Embiid's good. New changes here on Chikupo. It's checked in for early Sofa. You've talked about this a lot. Does it make it harder or easier for the super team? All five players are on the starting point. Same thing with the Philly Sixers. Player from another team Three thirty-nine left. Latch him on to somewhere else. Any examples you could throw out there? That, that I don't want to get into this. B makes another shot. I think we've seen it over the past three or four years uh, with some of our star guys. It, yes. I don't. I don't fault them. Pass the Middleton. Oh, what a shot here from outside. Middleton's drawing up a number three look after Anstikumpo picks up an assist. Simmons going the other way, past the Harris. Roll out with Orford. Or potentially the opportunity to play with somebody who you've always... Orford roll over to Harris. Goes over Simmons. The shot. Off the mark, Middleton grabs its free, grabs another rebound. Passes it to Lopez. Pass to Lopez. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Pass to Bledsoe. Three pointer off the line. Time for some consideration in these. That was that went tough out here for Bledsoe, not picking up a good pointer after all. Harris rolling it over to Ben Simmons. Two forty. Under 240 left. Simmons rolling over to back to Harris. Shoots over on Stacupo. Rebound it for Milton. It's checked, it's checked up. Six rebounds in the game. Bledsoe again. He didn't have it once more. And he's definitely getting to be cold already. Simmons pass to Harris. Bounce pass to Richardson. Six over Bledsoe, and there's the double. Assist from, from Tobias Harris. A bounce pass looking really well, and that clean shot for Richardson definitely puts it up in. Bucks trail by nine. Bucks trailing by nine. Two minutes left. 
156 left in the fourth quarter. Yannis Kupo with a wide open look, and that's good. Just, just, he, was on a, he was on a three point line, but that's a two pointer. 19 points for Ansi Kupo and 16 minutes on the court. Simmons passes to Harris. Bounce pass to Richardson. Shot Trying to look for motion, but no way around. Shot counts. Matthews draws his first personal foul. Second team foul going up on Bucks. Divincenzo's check in for Matthews. Matthews wasn't saying, wasn't doing it well enough. And he was been playing too much at one time in a row. Richardson will shoot one. But Richardson's been saying, how well do I have to do? What's wrong with my shot? Do I need to be a good player to well start learning much? I have to find out if there's more enough to get through. Richardson just only sets out two points and no luck for the one, one free throw. And we got a three for blood, so they're yeah, catching it up by um, by by six. One twenty left. Spirits and percentages from Das MB on the rise in the second half. And here's MB. Bounce pass to Simmons. Over Lopez. Another shot missed. Out of bounds. It's Bucks ball. Last touch by MB. Try to save it. But the Bucks will call a timeout here since they're going to make a new changes to make it. They're trailing by six. 105 left to play in the final quarter. Actually, no, it's 106 remaining. So actually, the last possession I will change here. All right, so uh, so one of each players are gonna grab some grab a rehydration here. Bringing Oakwood in, then I'm bringing uh, Scott in, Corkbaz in, and then uh, and then Burks. And for Josh Richardson, I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna switch him. Actually, Burks, and then I'm gonna switch uh, switch Richardson to the point guard position. But we're back to the two free zone. We're in a transition, and that will be enough. And now it's time to present your Jordan player of the game. This one's out by Joel and B. And as you'd expect, he's done most of the And as I'm telling you, what is re what a great rebound to show him what he was looking for. A lot of paintings, a great assist again. Sometimes the shot's way off, but a lot of difference between shooting and uh, and passing. Just more, uh, just more, just more competitive, just trying to keep it up from here. So here we go right now. This is the last change for uh, Sixers. Under one minute left. Scott going back the other way. Pass to Burks. Now here's Oakwood, covered up by Brooke Lopez. Oakwood, pass to Scott. Suits over Middleton. Kevin can just shot, but no shooting range from here. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. Three pointer missed. Pass to Cook Miles, 30 seconds left. And an intentional foul. Intentional foul will go on his personal foul on Brooke Lopez. Second personal foul. One to two. Now this will be the one on two shot for Cook Miles. Pro shots good for Court Boss. Picks up a seven point lead. Bucks only have one timeout left. Sixers only have two timeouts left. He makes two free throws. It's another it's another pointer game. Game one wasn't fair enough. The Divincenzo setting up with a two point range. Uh, Giannis does, especially where he gets the ball. So he surveys the court, takes a good picture. Foul will put up by Divincenzo, his second. Fourth team foul, putting up on, putting on the Bucks. One on one shot will be Richardson. First shot drops it in. Seven point lead. Last change here for the Bucks as all five players have checked out. All five players are checked in. Connaughton, DiVincenzo, Brown, Williams, and Brooke Lopez. Robin Lopez, sorry. 
Time for a cold pass because he's all the way on the bench. Coach remains silent. And he hits both Richardson hits two, two free throws. Final timeout eight 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 will be on but the Bucks. 22.7 seconds. By eight. They're out there trailing by eight. They're doing really hard that they can do. Trying to keep hope alive, but but I don't see them making a comeback. Yeah, this is the classic. Sometimes the Bucks are getting tired here in the first game since that was just enough. That was not enough to put to bring it back in. Anyways, my last uh, my last possession it will be the half court half court trap. And then I'll bring it up with some series. Go with fourth side, two series in. And that should do it to take care of it. No substitutions yet. And that'll be the end for the uh, Sixers and the Bucks to switch it up. Williams set the three. Oh, uh, missed uh, that time. Now O'Quinn. O'Quinn will try to make his shot range. He kicks the Rolls it over to Richardson. to Richardson. And that will be the end of the first game. 66 to 58 is your final score as the Sixers take their first win in the series, one to zero. But the box will come back in game two. Not just enough uh, play for uh, for the box, but all of a sudden we definitely keeping it up on a good pace. Let's send you over to David Aldrich. Al, congrats. Tough game tonight. When do you think you guys really locked in and started taking control of the game? It all started the second half. We didn't do a good job the first half. We let him hang around. But, um, uh, you know, at least we uh, reacted better the second half. This is one of those games that we just had to, you know, will, will our way uh, to win this. A lot of games like that, you have to kind of just grind out, Al. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, CA. Thank you guys for joining us here for the Eastern Conference Championship game in Game One. Next week it will. Next game it will be Game Two for the Bucks and the Sixers. Next game is up from the Western Conference. It's the uh, it's the Rock. I'm sorry, the uh, the Lakers versus the Mavericks. They'll be they'll be playing as the Lakers heads to Dallas for the first game. We'll find out what is happening from here. Thank, take care and uh, and uh, peace out, bitches, for as well as uh, NBA playoff dial of the Eastern and Western Conference. So long.